What's up guys, what's going on? Camp out coming at you with a review. Um, it's a little late, I, I got them yesterday. Yesterday was Wednesday, they came kind of quick. I hit the raffle on end and uh, yeah, they, they just shipped them right out. But I was a little busy yesterday so I couldn't shoot the review right away. I'm gonna go over the details of the box real quick. And Gel Light 3 Wasabi is the title of the shoe. Uh, on the side here is our sizing, A6N Gel Light 3 Wasabi UK 10.5. They don't have any other sizing on here. Uh, usually UK 10.5 would mean an 11.5, but they've been doing something weird with all the websites and saying that 10.5 is only a half a size difference. Um, in this case, it worked out pretty well, even though they do fit a little bit big. Price on there is 119 euros. Uh, I don't know what that translates to, but I'll throw the price up afterwards while I'm editing. <laughs> um, Probably means wasabi, I don't know, and I don't want to sound ignorant by just assuming that, so I'm just gonna leave it as is. If somebody knows, you want to comment below, please go for it. Uh, the box is uh, definitely different than your standard ASICS box. Has a uh, wasabi green hint on the inside of the top of the box and the actual inside of the box, and vinyl tape around the entire outer of the box to give you that kind of like gray wood grain finish. Let's get into the shoes. Very fire. Uh, it has that mint feel across the entire thing, so you already knew I was down. Um, just super plush across the entire shoe. It smells great. Uh, I don't know a lot of people, or I don't know if a lot of people like to smell their shoes, but usually when I open the box, I can usually tell if it's like a heavy glue thing or uh, a synthetic thing. It smells really nice just opening up the box. As you guys can see, I already did a lace swap. I'll show you the other extra laces that actually came with the shoe down below at the end of the video, but let's get into material. So you got this nice buttery short hair suede across the entire shoe. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see the brush strokes, but they're definitely there. You get that ash color and then the darker color if you decide to go back and forth with the strokes. Pretty keen indicator that you're getting decent material. Um, perf on the toe box, perf on the underlay, and then the toe cap, mud guard all the way around the rest of the shoe, just in a flat suede. Very, very nice, very smooth to the touch. Heel portion and Asics Tiger logo, where the Asics Tiger logo is in a nice steel colored tumbled leather. I would say tumbled, it has a nice little cut going inside of it. So tumbled leather, the eye stays or grommets above those portions correspond in the steel gray as well. Split tongue down the center is the same material, nice short hair, very, very plush moniker on there. I'll figure out what it is before I do the edit. So I'll throw it across the screen as a definition or in the description. Uh, for those of you who are wondering what that means, I'll definitely find it and get it done. Rolling into the heel portion, heel cup, you got Gel Light 3 debossed with like a, uh, looks like a, a clear press down in the center. So once they deboss it, they do like this, like a coating inside there. So it's clear, you can still see it, but it stays pretty bold when you're looking at it from different angles. Roll into the heel portion itself, upper area for the Achilles in the salmon colorway, end, which is the collaborator in the salmon colorway, debossed into the heel window with the steel gray that matches up with the ASICS logo tiger. Um, very, very clean ASICS logo again across the heel portion here or Achilles portion in that same style where it's debossed and has like a light glaze on the inside. So when you move it around, you can see it ever so slightly as the light bounces off of it. Rolling to the medial side, almost mirrored aside from this salmon hit on the logo for the ASICS tiger. We'll get to that in one second. Smooth again, as far as material goes, wrapping into the medial side from the heel cup. Uh, like I just mentioned, you have your salmon colored ASICS logo underneath, or the, uh, the underneath striping is the salmon color corresponding in the grommet area up here as well. So that's a nice little touch detailing effect. Um, same tumbled leather on the tiger striping, same perforated underneath. Uh, midsole has got more of a bone color, I wouldn't say white. Um, it looks a little white because there's so many d darker colors underneath it, but it's definitely more of a bone looking up at it closely. Uh, rolling to the outsole, you have a salmon, sail, and then a clear hit with the end, the X and the end, but if you can, I don't know if I could show it to you guys. So ASICS is raised above here uh, where my finger's rolling. So you can see the ASICS times end. It, it looks really dope. I, I like the way that worked out. It worked out pretty well. And I actually just noticed that because my second time shooting this review. Anyway, let's get into the center portion or the inside of the shoe. Leather lining on the inside, soft, buttery, smooth, feels really nice. Uh, footbeds are as follows as ASICS and end underneath there. And it's written on top of a chopstick just like the ones that are extras in the box, which I'll show you in a minute, but that's on both footbeds. 
I'll show you that real quick. I don't know if you can see it too well, but yeah, they're they're both down there. Anyway, I put shoe trees in, and like I had mentioned before, I had the lace swap, but I'll show you the laces that actually came with the shoe. Uh, the first one is the green color that doesn't really correspond with the shoe itself, as you guys can see in the contrast here. It has a, it has a darker tint to it, I guess you could say, but the aglets are plastic, and they do say end on one tip and ASICs on the other. Uh, same thing for the pair that actually came inside the shoe, which is this green pair, which matches very nicely to the shoe, and it has that same color color as the ASICS logo in the gray steel color uh, just inside of it. Same thing on the Agalus, you got end and ASICS. And the last one is a salmon color with that same gray steel weaved into it with the end and ASICS on there as well. Um, extras that came inside the special box would be the chopsticks and the dish for your soy sauce or your wasabi whatever you want to go with or if you like to mix your soy sauce and your wasabi you're good to go but that's a nice little addition as well uh, i really like the chopsticks uh, i like to use chopsticks so it is what it is I was happy to get that, but if you don't get a special box, I wouldn't sweat it. Just get the shoe, because the shoe's the most important part. Um, yeah, I took these laces from, if you guys are wondering about the lace swap, the lace swap is from, Jesus, what did I get them from? Oh, it's from the Silver Screens Highs and Lows 25th Anniversary pair in that mint color. Uh, very, very fire. It's almost like a wax flat, and I think that it corresponds very well with the inside of the split tongue. So I figured why not throw them in here and I actually like the way they look a lot as opposed to all those colorful laces. Anyway, that's gonna be it. I'll do an on foot. I hope you guys enjoyed the review. Um, if you like a little bit of room, just go by the size chart. If you like less room, I would go the full size down from the UK size. So I am a US 11. I could have did a UK 10 instead of a UK 10.5. If you guys aren't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or comments, hit me in the comment section below. And as always, I am out of here. Peace.